everyone, it's Andrea and today I'm going to show you the next lot of completed colouring pages. Um, so these are the ones that I did in the month of November, well from the end of October to the end of November. Obviously with December I'm concentrating right up until December 25th on Christmas pictures. Then it'll be winter and any whips that I've got on the go, though I may do a bit on some of the whips uh, as well at the same time. So, the first one I finished was from Lacey Sunshine's Halloween Coloring Book Volume 4 by Heather Valentin. I have got paper in these so I can find them. So this is the first one that I did. So I think I used um, Prismacolors. And it's, I usually mix Prismacolors and Colour Softs. I used some pebble shorts for the background and of course there's some plenty of stickles on there to make it sparkle but I thought I'd give her pink hair because I like the idea of that. So that's the first one that I actually finished on Halloween. Then into November I did uh, one from Kawaii Girls by Jade Summer. I had a PDF of this that I was given to review which I did. This picture was done entirely I believe it was this one, the Tombow Erosiotons. It was this one. Um, because uh, somebody said that there's no skin tones in the Erosiotons, which uh, technically there aren't. But I managed to get a decent skin tone using uh, three or four of the different er Erosioton pale colours. And the rest of it's all Erosiotons. I actually like them, they're a harder pencil, they're a bit harder to work with, but the colours are really, really nice. The next book I worked from was Jade Summer Mermaids. A lot of the pictures here that you're going to see are Jade Summer ones. Just put these out of the way so that they don't... Okay. Now this isn't my favourite Jade Summer book, but I did do like some of the pictures, so I did this one, which I really did like. It took me a while because I got a bit bored and went off to do something else. <laughs> Again, this was mostly Prisma colours with some uh, colour softs. Those are the usual go-to pencils that I use. Obviously now I'm also using the polychromos, but at the time these are the ones, these were my go-tos. So that's that one. Um, Jade Summer Vampires 2 is next. Again, like I said, there's a lot of Jade Summer stuff here. I love the vampire ones. I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely love them. And so I did this one. And again, this is a mixture of uh, Prisma colors and color softs because I, I, I do like them. So I liked doing this one. I do love these vampire books by Jade Summer. I love the Jade Summer brand. Um, don't know what it is about the mermaids. I think it's just me. Because I do love mermaids. But that's, I mean, I've, there's only one picture in all these books at the moment because although I did quite a lot, I, but I'm, what I'm trying to do is do one picture for every single colouring book I've got. So that's why you'll see lots of different colouring books. Again, Jade Summer. Funny that. Hidden Garden. Again, this was Prisma Colours and Colour Softs. No, actually it wasn't, thinking about it. This was actually done with the feelers. I had to think about that, yeah. So this was actually done with the budget-friendly feeler pencils, which I got from Amazon for £28.99. I'll leave a link to them in the below as well. As well as that, I will link to all these books if they're on Amazon. Not all of them are, but if they are on Amazon, I will link them below. So I got them. So that was, yeah, that was done with the feelers. Next is another one from Kawaii Girls by Jade Summer, the PDF. This one was one I just did using the Crayola, Crayola I can't say it, the Crayola Super Tip markers because I wanted to see what the colours were like and I was really impressed with the how bright some of the colours are, that blue and that fuchsia are gorgeous. So that was totally uh, done with the, the Super Tips just for fun. I do have a folder to put these in by the way, they don't just disappear, they do get in a folder. The next picture is by Hannah Lynn, and again this is one of her downloads from her website, and it's the Mad Hatter, 
Now, there were two pencils used on this, two types. The skin tone was originally done with the Derwent watercolour skin tones, but I didn't get on very well and I didn't like it. Part of the reason is that the ink on this isn't permanent and they're very thick lines, so when you put water on it, it tends to move the ink around. Uh, it's just the printer ink I use. The rest of it has been done with the polychromos. When I got them, I thought, okay, let's find a picture and let's just color, see what the colors are like. So this was done with the polychromos. And I did go over the skin with the polychromos as well, just to give it a bit more texture. I, I actually do like the polychromos. I'm, I'm really enjoying working with them. I know it's gonna take a while to get used to them properly. <clears throat> the next book is from the Green Ladies Zen Mandala Coloring Book Volume 2 by Gwen Davis. Here's her Facebook page, Gwen Davis Art and Henna, so go check her out. And again, this is what I used, did with the Crayola, Crayola, I can't say that word, Crayola Super Tip Markers. And they work really well in there, even in the little bits, they do, they do get in quite well, so. I'm not a big mandala fan, I do like to do the odd one, so I thought, let's try and use the markers on there, see how it works, so. That was them. The next picture is uh, the one I picked for Cozy Colour and Night. The first one, which was November's, and it's from Zem, Zem, Zem Leisure Snova by Tomislav Tomic. And I did this because I wanted to challenge myself to something a bit more difficult because most of the pictures I pick are quite easy. So I picked The Fairy with the Harp. Um, it took me a good while to do it. It was done mostly with Prismacolors. I don't think they were colour soft, I think it was Prismacolors. And stickles. So if you look, the bugs are stickled. And up here. And I've put some of the stickles on her wing. And this purple stickle, the stickle on the purple parts of the wing, that was the grape ice one that I, I showed you, the one that's in a bigger bottle. So I really like this book. I didn't date that one for some reason. I probably didn't just want to write on the page. But I really like that. So I will be looking forward to doing more in that book at some point. I get to put all these away on my colouring bookshelf. I've got two colouring bookshelves. One is where I just stack the ones that are new for hauling. I haven't coloured in and then the ones I've coloured in but I haven't shown you the pictures of. And then I've got a shelf where they actually sit properly with the ones I've actually worked in. I'm a bit sad like that. The next one is one you know very well and that's the Terry Pratchett's Discworld colouring book. And that's Hamish, which we coloured in our colour and catch-ups. And I did like the way he came out and I'm happy with leaving the border for now and I might go around and do all the borders with felt pens at some point and the clouds as white. But yeah, I enjoyed doing that, that was fun. So there's only one more now. So the last one I did in November was from Autumn Scenes by Cre the Creative Haven book by Teresa Goodridge. And I, I, I don't do a lot of Halloween stuff. I love Halloween, but because it's not that big in the UK, I just didn't do many Halloweens other than the Lacey Sunshine one. And so the one from this isn't a Halloween one. It is just an autumn scene. And it's the Autumn Picnic. And this was done with... Get ready. Colour soft, Prisma colours, and I used the polychromos on it as well, just because I had them and I wanted to try different things with them. So that's the last one I did. I actually finished that on the 29th. That one took me ages because I started it and then I was like, oh, I can't do this. So I stopped and then I started again and then I stopped. And then the polychromos came and I was just in the mood for mad colouring with them because I really like them. So that is everything that I coloured in the month of October. Isn't that amazing? Uh, sorry, November rather. Yeah, so that was the end of October all the way through November. We're in December now, so I'm constantly colouring Christmas pictures only at the moment. Like I said, I've got, I think I've got about six Christmas books and I'm gonna work on them as and when I want to. So those are the ones I worked on this time. Like I said, I will leave links to these uh, books down in the description bar when I can. If they are Amazon links, I am an Amazon affiliate, so if you purchase any of the books by clicking on my link, 
I will get a very small commission. It doesn't cost you anything, but it does help support the channel and means that I can invest money into more books and colouring supplies. At some point, I am going to need new pencils. I have found a supplier in the UK for OpenStock Prismas Polys and Colorsoft that aren't horrendously expensive, and I will be trying them in the new year when I need to. So that's all my colouring for the last month or so. What have you been colouring? I look forward to seeing your whips and your completed pages as well as your colouring chats and I will see you all soon. Happy colouring people. Bye.